Master Ugwe. Now, if you spend an unhealthy amount of time watching short type of contents all around social media platforms, you're aware of who he is and the wise words words he shares with his audience. If your girlfriend gets you for another, you shall go for her brother. Mr. Ugwe took the character of the Kung Fu Panda, the turtle grandpa, and he started putting uh, titty sexual jokes, dark humor jokes on Master Ugwe's while making his voice. And some even said he carried the whole TikTok back in 2021, 2022. That was his time where I used to watch him a lot because he used to pop up on my FYP. But after three years of building his reputation, two weeks ago, his whole reputation went down the drain. When he made this music video, I still don't know how this is still up on YouTube and YouTube hasn't done anything about it. Well, you can go watch it by yourself. All I will show you is the title of the video and you can guess how the two minute fucking music video is gonna go before we talk about that let me give you a quick rundown of how in this three years how mr ugwe's channel has gone from being the person who carries tiktok to going all the way downhill hitting rock bottom right now now like every tiktoker once they realize how much youtubers make more than them they decide to join the platform called youtube myself included but i also have other reasons because i'm 25 years old and i'm too old to keep on making memes but anyways tiktokers when they first join youtube they don't know what the fuck they're doing they don't know what kind of content they want to keep on making so they post their compilations from their TikTok videos. And after that, he started making reaction videos. If he laughs, he will do, I don't know, he will fart. If he laughs, then he's gay. He keeps on doing these uh, challenges. He's very obsessed with the word gay and the N word, which is gonna come later on in the video. He started making a lot of reaction videos and they were good. They were like 50K, 70K, 100K. That's like average on YouTube. I don't know if he didn't enjoy making them anymore. It was too hard to sh shoot these reaction videos or did he get t t burnt out from it? Was it not enough for him? Did he want to take it to the next level? Because he took it to the next level after he started posting these kind of videos. My opinion on disabled people. Is it gay to make out with your friend? Saying the N-word for the first time in my life. I didn't really follow up with this channel, but this was the video that I watched where he said, I'm quitting YouTube permanently. When he went on a full-on rant of just cursing at YouTube for demonetizing him, saying that, oh, I did all of these things. I got to like four or five million subscribers. People watch my videos. And this is how you treat your creators. I can say the N-word and make dark humor jokes anytime I want. It gets you views. Why do you care? And uh, you go ahead and demonetize me? You know what, YouTube? Fuck you. And he went on the next video saying, I spoke to YouTube on the phone about unjust demonetization. And this is what they had to say. They basically, let me just save you some time. He, they gave him his monetization back after he made this little bit of drama. Now, as a TikToker, once you move to YouTube and start spending hours and hours on each video instead of spending 10 to 15 minutes, that was literally it. I spent like 10 minutes on one video. Majority of TikTok creators are extremely lazy. YouTube whole different level and some people learn to adapt like myself and some people don't so bro started making 30 second to a minute type of video saying the real n-word every time i get a like on this video if you don't click on this video you're gay if you don't click on this video you like little kids my top 10 favorite n-words now as an experienced dark humor person who occasionally posted dark humor on his channel some of my dark humor content was like self-defense kids sometimes i make like some different type of uh dark humor kind of stuff but this is some 10 year old dark humor stuff in my opinion or maybe i i've just grown up maybe i became a mature adult we still don't know but this type of content is like when a seven year old just learned the word fuck but with the views that he's been bagging on these videos i guess the internet has different types of humor his community still finds this funny and they support him for whatever the reason but when he posted that song even his community turned against him because I guess there's a line for these type of people with these type of humor. Now, the transition he took really messed him up. It might be because of his boxing match a few months ago. He got really, you know, hit in the head pretty hard. Maybe that's why he came up with these type of content. And just a few months ago, he decided to take a new career path on making music videos, hosting concerts, inshallah, in the future. And, you know, just casually putting this video in in case his views drop. Now, going back to this video, I listened to the whole song. I want to know in what world... He thought this was funny to make. 
right? I'm all about dark humor. This is not dark humor. This is not even funny. Now, if Uguay had that majestic Filipino voice, he would definitely be successful in this era because he already has an audience and he would push towards music. His voice is pure ass. You bring a crackhead from the streets, you give him $1, tell him to sing. He will sing better than Uguay. Even a week after the music video, his 2.8 million follower account that he started like three, four years ago, got banned and he decided to take it to twitter saying every time i post it on tiktok people spam reported my videos and that's that's the reason he probably got banned in my opinion and someone replied to his music video and he said that's the irony of it they allow these kind of songs which is crazy it's because music has creative freedom oh it doesn't <laughs> yes you want to talk about uh, i don't know palestine you want to uh, talk about freedom you want to talk about strong messages in your videos sure if you want to talk about Mr. Mustache saying the N-word, even if you post that video on kick, they're going to ban your ass. And then he went on and he posted this message from YouTube that they gave him. He's saying, well, that's it. My YouTube account with 7 million subscribers and 500 million views a month is gone soon because of a group of people spam reporting me to rack up guidance. Like, this is how you treat your creators after they've given you four years to grow on your platform? If there was a title and an award for the biggest bitching creator out out there it will go straight to mr ugwe this is just the tip of the icebergs the amount of videos he made oh guys that's it i'm gonna get banned because the platforms are against me they don't treat me right and they want to silence me because i'm not allowed to make videos about mr mustai saying the n-word bro if you're going to make a song about mr mustai saying the n-word you are not allowed to bitch i think the reason the song is still up on youtube is because the community guideline is confused as well they don't know how to deal with this this is beyond anything they have ever seen he goes on and he says all you haters are sad you're just making me more motivated to make more content i'm gonna start a new channel from scratch and show you sad fucks who's boss i will prove to the people that one who wants to start youtube that it's not luck it's all hard work the amount of hard work he puts in his videos is absolutely amazing now i'm not you know like hate i'm hating on him now i used to really respect this guy back in the day with the funny videos he used to make but this is just getting pathetic the amount of hard work you put in your videos you record a 30 second video saying guys i'm, I'm really gonna say the n-word now if you don't click on this video you're gay that really takes a lot of time to make and a lot of creativity to make and should definitely be awarded for it. He says, I'm going to double down on the woke wokeism and make an even crazier song that I did before so I can hear your sad little haters cry again. Love to all my black homies that understood the joke and I saw you guys making shorts with the videos that made me die from laughter. People that truly get offended are under 16 are on snow snowflakes. The people who got offended are over 16. The pe your fans are 10 years old. He also said everything aside this song i made did go too far yes i apologize for it even though it's allowed to post this kind of stuff due to artistic freedom it's still not fucking allowed that's why it's on tiktok spotify and tiktok youtube etc but the haters didn't give a fuck about the apology they just thrive from hating now ugwe is the perfect example of little brother causing troubles and then blaming it on the big brother and you know there's just crying for waiting for the mom to come and whoop the bigger brother and then you know he gives a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of smirk the evil small brother who just likes to bitch about th the big brother to the mother but in this situation when you make this type of a fucked up mistake you should really come out apologize do not drag it on even more you should just be quiet realize what you did realize the mistakes that you have done and just try to do better better next time actually make quality type of content the way it looks like we have another death noodle situation where he's going to try and respond to you know the hate that he's getting with sarcasm not take things too seriously not really realizing his mistakes someone posted this saying what a great song and his reply to it was the fans asked for it i'm a good youtuber who does what his fans want there's not much to talk about this video anymore i hope he realizes that this you can't go forward being like this i don't know how old he is but i'm assuming he's like my age all i'm gonna say is bro grow the fuck up this is this is not it you know it might be too late for you to realize in the future well when everyone turns against you and you lose your whole career over what over some dark humor type of joke if you want to be on a social media platform you got to follow their fucking rules you can't break the rules and bitch about it later i hope this backlash actually has an effect on him he looks like the type of guy when 
if someone if someone replies to the hate comments, it, you know that it, it got him. Bro is dying from inside, but he's trying to put on a mask and look cool. I just know him replying to all these haters is crying, crying from inside, and it, it truly is affecting him. Back in the day when I used to watch him, I used to respect him. I used to follow him even, and he was funny. I hope he uses that talent going forward. I don't want to see him fall. Yeah, a lot of people make mistakes in their careers. I just hope he realizes it before it's too late. Anyways, just wanted to talk about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you at the next one.